few days back me and my friends were having a good party being from a technical background most of my friends are from the it well of course we were having a really good time and soon we realized that two of my friends were feeling completely out of the place one of them is from the insurance domain the other one was from the banking domain though they were interested in the technology but many of the words that we were using at that point of time were greek to them they were not able to understand the core cloud computing jargon this incident made me realize how dark cloud can be for the people who actually don't know so i promised my friends to help them demystify the cloud jargon and make the cloud really beautiful blue again for them hello friends and welcome back again to your own channel the tech blackboard and today i will take you through some of the most common cloud terms cloud technologies abbreviations and acronyms so sit back take a cup of tea and let's understand the cloud <music> You know what while I'm recording this video now I can already see a beautiful cloud with two blue eyes and big smile Coming back to the topic the first term that we will be understanding is well the cloud itself Now let's take an example suppose you have a laptop for your daily work it has a decent configuration but now let's just suppose that you want to do some research work so you would need more computing power storage power etc What are you going to do now buy another powerful laptop only for few days of research no with cloud on your side you can go to a cloud provider and order a new powerful virtual machine to make it very simple cloud computing is nothing but delivery of computing services like server storage database you name it you can use them over the internet you just pay for what you use and once you are done you can just delete all the resources and no more cost I have created a very detailed video on what is cloud the link for which is now appearing in the i button on the right corner and in the description box as well this video will help you understand what is cloud what are its core components and microsoft cloud offering which is called azure now that you understand what is cloud let's see what are the three major cloud providers in the cloud space the first one is azure Azure is from one of the biggest tech giants Microsoft. The second one is AWS also called Amazon Web Service. As the name already suggests, it is from Amazon. The third biggest cloud provider is Google Cloud Platform offered by Google. Now friends, most of the cloud terms that we are looking in this video are related to Azure, which is from Microsoft. However, many of the concept also relates to AWS and GCP as well now let's understand three terms that you will hear everywhere the cloud is being talked about IaaS PaaS and SaaS so in case of IaaS or infrastructure as a service instead of you or your company creating a new data center buying costly new servers new memory or acquiring more storage you just go to a cloud provider and provision a virtual machine that actually suits your need It's very important to note that it's not only for big companies you as an individual can also provision a virtual machine for yourself let's say you want to test a new gaming app on a certain particular configuration just go to azure or any other cloud provider provision a virtual machine that suits your configuration test your game once you are done unprovision the virtual machine it's as simple as that you don't have to buy costly hardware or software just pay for what you use coming to pass or platform as a service pass is a complete development or deployment environment in cloud with resources that enable you to deliver your application regardless of the complexity level comparing pass with ias in case of ias you normally provision a virtual machine with suitable operating system on top of that you put other software tools or software that you need to do the development however in pass as i mentioned before the entire environment is pre configured just use it and start developing your dream application some of the very commonly used pass services in azure are azure app service azure sql database and azure cosmos db 
Now let's look at SaaS, which is Software as a Service. Friends, before we move ahead, a very small but important thing. I hope you are already noticing there is some text which is marked in blue and is underlined. For example, on demand, pay as you go. All these terms are explained in our next slide. So if you don't understand these terms on this slide, then don't worry. They will make more sense in the next slide. Once you have understood these terms in the next slide, you can always come back and see the video again. Before you understand what is SaaS, let's look at some of the examples of SaaS. So some of the very commonly used SaaS services are email, calendaring tool, office tools like Office 365. Hmm. Now you might be thinking that you are already using these SaaS services. Exactly. So SaaS services are like cloud-based apps, software or applications. In SaaS, you don't have to configure or provision anything. You just connect these services over the internet and use them. Well, I am already sure that you have started to wonder that you have already been using cloud services like Gmail, YouTube, Facebook, Office 365 and many more without even knowing them. Well, you see, cloud is not that tough. Guys, in a few days, I am going to create a video which will explain IAS, PaaS and SaaS services in much more detail. I will tell you advantages and disadvantages of each of them. I will give you an example that even the most layman person can understand. So what are you waiting for? Do subscribe to my channel so you get all notification of all these wonderful videos. Now let's understand what is serverless. In serverless, you just build a piece of code, deploy and run. All the needs for scalability, infrastructure are taken care by the cloud provider. Common example for serverless is Azure Functions. Our next term is on demand. Simply putting in cloud, you can provision the resources like storage, servers or database as per your needs. You are not tied with the resources as you have not purchased them. You just pay for what you use. And this brings to our next term which is pay as you go. Now pay as you go means that you are billed for the services till you use them. You are billed on per second basis so you don't have to pay anything extra. Coming to the term capex, capex is made up of two words, capital and expenditure. So capital expenditure is the upfront cost that you pay for building infra, buying servers, memory, etc. Now let's understand the term opex. Similar to capex, the term opex also comprises of two words, operational and expenditure. Unlike capex, the operational cost is not spent upfront but it's a expenditure on recurring basis. For example, you pay the bill for your mobile usage every month, while the purchase of the mobile itself is an example of capex. So, I hope this first part has helped you understand the major cloud terms and terminologies. In the next part also, we will be looking at some of the very commonly used terms like public cloud, private cloud, hybrid cloud and many more. If you have gained some value from this video, do like the video and subscribe to my channel. Also in the comment section, tell me the cloud term that you want to understand and I will surely incorporate that in my next video. Till we meet again in our next video, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.